Okay, just wanted to show you this. Um, now, I know that this phone has found some um, Wi-Fi hotspots. And this is how it displays the hotspots. So, I'm going to choose the hotspot that I want. And look, we've got this lovely interface. Instead of the existing interface, which would have meant me having to get a keyboard out right now. Um, normally. This is, um, I'll just hide the key as I put it in. Lovely friendly interface into Wi Fi hotspots from now on. So now I'm connected to the Wi Fi and I can browse the internet. So let's go on to Twitter, say. There you go, Twitter straight away. And we can zoom in with the zoom bar and zoom back out again. Of course, I'd be holding it like this normally. Zoom in, zoom out. Now, this is Opera. Um, let's just see if we can get, see what version of Opera it is. This is Opera 9.5. And I must say, it's very smooth. Um, very smooth indeed. Let's try Call Smartphone and see what happens with that. And let's just see how easy it is to type in Call Smartphone. Call Smart Phone. And we've got a dot .com button, just like the iPhone we, we looked at a few weeks back. And here comes Call Smartphone. It's the first time I've ever, ever loaded this now. So we shall see how fast it goes. You can see there it's loading the main page up. And there's all the images. We're about 80% done. Don't forget, you know, Cool Smartphone is a. This is the first time I've ever browsed to it. And if I browse to it again, obviously it's going to store all these pictures in its cache. So I won't have to do this again. And because that's quite a hefty web page, I'm going to try zooming on it now and see what happens. Whoops, sorry, HTC, I just dropped your phone. Wow, that is really quite smooth. That is getting very smooth indeed. I do like that. I do like that quite a lot. Let's see if we've still got the wraparound system that we had before. Now we don't seem to have the text wraparound, but I must confess this is an early early test build of the ROM but that's just a quick look at browsing we can use the back button by the way to go back and we've got the full screen browsing on the uh, touch diamond 2 should I say um, oh and also we've got the Google Maps of course which is always very useful indeed so I'm just going to fire that up and what I'll do I'm going to run Let's see if I can find it. Let's just run. I've got quick GPS in here. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's the quick GPS. So I'm just going to load quick GPS. That's going to get the satellites that are nearest to me because uh, it looks like it's already downloaded the data that I need automatically. Quick GPS should run in the background anyway, and then we're going to hop back to um, Google Maps. As you can see, it's updating the location now. I'm just going to go menu. I'm going to say use GPS again. We've got the HTC menu systems, which has integrated itself into every part of uh, Windows Mobile now. Whereas I know I've said in previous reviews that uh, the interface that HTC have built feels like just a sort of a um, icing on top of um, a sort of a, a, a cake almost and in this case it looks like HTC have, have gone a lot deeper into the cake if, if you will if I maintain that cake um, analogy 
Now it's still looking for the GPS satellites. We'll just see if we can locate. And not actually, I'm only near a window, so this may take a while, and it may only find one satellite. I could do with doing this outside. But um, let's just while we're waiting for that. We've got Street View, of course, which we can use on Google Maps as well. So I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks like I've got a tree there. Let's just move around. There we go. So we've got the Google Street Maps system as well. So obviously this is in London. Um, well, there are other cities. So if I choose. Um, Let's have a look at Birmingham, shall we? I think there's areas of Birmingham that have it as well. Newport Pagnell. Lovely services there, I must say. Let's zoom out. And we can use um, Google Maps quite easily, so that's a quick look at that.